Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us on our live stream and Facebook Live this morning. I'm Trisha Sloma and if you're just joining us, we always talk on Wednesdays about Wednesday's Child. It's a segment that we're really proud of here on Channel 16, 16 News Now. If you tuned in this morning, we were talking about uh, the child that you'll see tonight, uh, Arabella. I'm going to try to put her video up right now. Arabella is a uh, Michigan child. She is a uh, teenager from Michigan who is just a sweetheart, loves to read, and on a day like today, boy, you can only imagine how that would be nice to curl up with a good book, right? Arabella currently lives in a residential facility, and she is you know, fully aware that she needs to find a new family. It sounds like um, from our story from Grant Me Hope that Arabella, or Bella as she likes to be called, Bella likes to spend time with a relative that she refers to as her grandmother who likes to thrift. She says she picks up her love and her hobby of thrift shopping from her grandmother. It does sound like she spends some weekend times with her grandmother, but also likes to spend weekend times with her uh, friends. And she just acknowledges that, you know what, it is tough to be in a residential uh, home for children because um, she knows that it's not a family and she would like to live with a family and that's what she is hoping for and dreaming about. So this is our Wednesday's Child for this week. This is a story that's going to air tonight just before six. Uh, we ran it this morning in the morning show. You'll be able to find it soon on our website. Grant Me Hope is our partner for Ella Arabella's story, Bella. Um, so Grant Me Hope is our connection to the kids in Michigan. Uh, these are the kids in Michigan who are available uh, for adoption through the Michigan Adoption Resource Exchange. That is the Department of Child Services in Michigan. So they are a, um, a source for the kids' stories. So if you go to their website, M-A-R-E dot org, uh, you'll be able to see all the children. Now we have linked the children that air on our program for Wednesday's Child in our website. So it's very easy if you go to our website, WNDU.com, you'll be able to view um, the kids that we feature in our Wednesday's Child segments. Now sometimes, it, it, it and actually more often time than not, children are not getting adopted and they stay in the foster care system and they eventually age out and that is what we're trying to prevent. Um, what breaks my heart is when we hear of stories that we shared three or four years ago that the kid is still waiting and that's the case of Xander and I want to share Xander's story. Xander's story ran last week here on Channel 16, and Xander, uh, when I first met him, he was 11 years old, but that was back in 2020. He was giving me a list of all the things that he loves, and that was all the fun things that uh, he, <laughs> he loved to tell me about his favorite snacks. He loved to tell me about his um, favorite uh, candies and that included Kit Kat, Hershey's, Kisses, chocolate milk and the Easter bunnies too. So <laughs> uh, the Easter bunny, the chocolate Easter bunnies, I need to clarify. Um, he was big into video games as you can see here in this video and uh, Xander was just a sweetheart. Now I was able to uh, convince him to tell me about the healthy foods that he likes and that's the fruits, the apples, the oranges, the grapes. Um, he's just a great kid. He has uh, a, a, just an endless uh, talkative ability. Now here are some more recent pictures of him. He's 15 years old. Xander is growing up. He is a young man now. And you think about it, he has been in foster care this whole time. Back when I met him when he was 11 years old, he um, had a, a dog, probably like a therapy dog. It was just his favorite uh, favorite just lovable person uh, animal waiting for him when he got off the school bus his name was buddy 
Um, from what I understand, he still has Buddy. He would like to be adopted with Buddy. Um, he would always like to have a dog, and that's the kind of thing. With a lot of these foster kids, you know, they don't always get to keep the things that are theirs. And in the case of Buddy the dog, he would be able to, to go with him, or that is the hope anyway. Xander uh, definitely wants to be adopted and be with a family that has lots of pets. And again, dogs are his favorite. We certainly hope somebody uh, watching our story will help get Xander a home. Some of you may be wondering, how can I help? How can we get these, um, get these kids adopted uh, or get them into foster care? You heard from our story previously with Bella she just doesn't want to be living in a residential facility anymore. When we get to uh, the teenage years, a lot of times foster parents, either they've made an agreement they won't take kids over the age of 12 or something like that. It's very common for kids to be placed in residential care facilities. Now, this doesn't mean they're out of hand, they're unruly, that these kids are, you know, oh, they can't be cared for in a foster family. No, it's just there's so many kids they actually need uh, almost like a residential facility, group home setting for these kids to live in while they try to transition in them into foster families or adoptive families. So you can imagine the frustration at the state level in both Indiana and in Michigan uh, when you have that many kids, teenagers who haven't been adopted and they still need to find families. So they're placed in residential facilities and they get care, they get therapy, they're getting um, schooling, they're um, able to join sports teams and that. But think about the creature comforts of home and the just the guidance of a parent and the support of a parent. So when you think about that, um, think about that's what Bella's biggest wish is and that is to be with a family. That's what Xander wants as well. So we're looking at the pictures of Xander now as a 15 year old. I can't believe it. He's growing up. I'd love to talk to him again. I wonder if he's still as talkative. You know how teenage boys get. They get kind of quiet and moody. Hmm. He doesn't seem like it though. He seems like still a very cheerful individual. So um, our hope is that these kids find forever families, find that next step, a place to call home. And by the way, that is exactly what we call our segments when a child is successfully adopted into a family. And if the family's willing to reach out to me or vice versa, if I'm able to find out who they are and reach out to them, um, it's nice to be able to share that story on Channel 16. And we have those stories listed on our website at WNDU.com. Those stories uh, that are listed under a place to call home are the successful Wednesday's child stories that have ended in adoption. So we certainly hope you'll consider that. That is something really special that we love to share here on Channel 16. Well, that's gonna do it for our Wednesday's child uh, visit today on our uh, streaming platforms today. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Trisha Sloma. You can tune in for Wednesday's Child tonight on 16 News Now.